To place the heliosphere balloon, the patient should be under general anesthesia and intubated. He will be in left lateral decubitus. The first step is to practice an osiogastro duodenal febroscopy, which enables to eliminate the duodenal, gastric, or esophageal lesions, which would contraindicate the placement of the balloon. In our experience, the presence of a iatal hernia is not a contraindication for the placement of the balloon, should the reflux disease be treated and stabilized medically. The heliosphere bag system includes one radio-opaque intergastric balloon with double polymer pouches covered with a silicon envelope, the hole in its protective cover. One introduction kit pre-connected to the balloon for the filling of air. First of all, the protective cover and the catheter connected to the balloon are lubricated with a surgical gel. The balloon is then introduced in its totality through the teeth holder while helping with the index as a guide. In order to allow the passage of the balloon through the esophagus, until the stomach by helping itself with a graduated catheter. In case of difficulty during the passage into the esophagus, avoid forcing with the catheter which would be likely disconnected from the balloon valve and would make the system unusable. The endoscope is then reintroduced beside which enables to control the good positioning of the balloon having the valve as a landmark two centimeters below the cardia level. The blue colored safety loop is cut with scissors or a scapel blade. Then the specially knitted thread marked by a small rectangular label is slightly pulled allowing to open the balloon sheath. During the final step of the withdrawal of the thread through the catheter, you will find a small resistance which is not abnormal. Keep on pulling the thread until it is entirely out from the catheter. This operation is under endoscopic control so as to verify that the sheath removal has been totally carried out. Should the removal of the sheath not be completed, you must absolutely remove totally the whole device and use a new heliosphere bag system. Filling of the balloon. The filling of the balloon with air is carried out using a syringe of 60 cc connected to the catheter of injection, which is equipped with an anti-reflux valve. Fill slowly the balloon using 15 syringes with 60 cc of air, i.e. 900 cc of air, which corresponds to 675 cc of liquid as air is compressible. Dropping of the balloon. Once the balloon is filled, unscrew the stainless cannula of the anti-reflex valve and slowly pull while maintaining with the other hand the catheter at the exit from the teeth holder in order to retract the inflating cannula inside the catheter of approximately 5 cm, which corresponds to the black mark of the cannula. Then slowly pull the filling catheter. This will allow the release of the balloon at the cardia level. Once the balloon released in the gastric cavity, check that the inflating cannula does not exceed the distal end of the catheter, which could hurt the esophagus, then delicately withdraw the introduction system under endoscopic control. Then check the integrity of the balloon, both in direct vision and retrovision, as well as its good positioning under the cardia. Balloon Extraction Procedure The balloon must be removed after six months. You must carry out the extraction procedure of the balloon on a patient with empty stomach under general anaesthesia 
and intubated in the left lateral decubitus. First of all, the integrity of the balloon and the absent of gastric lesions are endoscopically checked. Use the extraction device which is provided under sterile packaging and of single use for the procedure, bag extract. This device is composed of a draining catheter for the air pouch provided with a trocar, of a bipodus extraction grasper, puncture and draining of the balloon. First of all, locate endoscopically either the plug or the valve of the silicon pouch. Then insert the draining catheter through the operator canal of the endoscope. Push out the trocar from the catheter and create multiple perforations at both poles around the valve and the plug without emptying the balloon. Then make a last puncture, preferably near one of the two poles, and drain completely the balloon by aspiration. The emptying step of the balloon is fundamental and it is only if realized entirely that the extraction will be able to be carried out normally and smoothly. Extraction of the balloon. Insert the extraction grasper through the operator canal of the endoscope. Grab the plug or the valve according to the case with a bipodus grasper and then remove slowly under endoscopic control by letting the balloon empty itself completely through the cardia, which will enable to evacuate the residual air through the punctures carried out before. Once the cardia crossed entirely by the balloon, always remove under endoscopic control of the esophagus. Cross the chilean delicately. In case of difficulty to cross it, you may temporarily deflate the small balloon or the intubation probe to facilitate the extraction or place the patient's head in hyperextension. Remove the balloon through the mouth. Re-endoscope the patient in order to be sure of the absence of esophagus or gastric lesions, which could have been induced by the extraction of the balloon. Radiological image of a radio-opaque balloon, iliosphere, showing its position under the diaphragm. Ephographic image of the intragastric balloon heliosphere.